Fabian 12.11 Bookworm was officially released on May 17th, 2025, marking the 11th point release of the Debian 12 stable series. This update bundles 81 bug fixes and 45 security patches to ensure improved stability, reliability and security for both new installations and existing systems. As a point release rather than a separate distribution, it does not introduce new features but rather consolidates prior security advisors and fixes, reducing the need for users to immediately download numerous updates after installing from media. In this video, we will cover the context of Debian and Bookworm, the specifics of what Debian 12.11 brings, the significance of point releases, upgrade paths, and why such updates matters to users. Let's first start with the introduction to Debian and Bookworm. Debian is one of the longest standing and most respected Linux distributions. Known for its commitment to free software, stability, and a vast repository of packages. Each Debian releases is given a code name derived from characters in the Toy Story films. Debian 12 is codenamed Bookworm and initially made its debut on June 10th 2023. Bookworm introduced the Linux 6.1 LTS kernel, updated desktop environments such as GNOME 43, KDE Plasma 5.27, XFCE 4.18, and integrated non-free firmware by default where necessary for hardware compatibility. Over its life cycle, Debian 12 receives periodic point releases, labeled 12.1, 12.2, and so on, that consolidates security updates and fixes without altering the core releases major functionality. So what's new in Debian 12.11? Debian 12.11 was made available on May 17th, 2025, as announced by the Debian project. The point releases focuses on the following key areas. Let's start with number one. Security fixes. A total of 45 security updates have been integrated into the 12.11 release, covering vulnerabilities in various packages and components. Many of these patches were previously available through security advisors. Now they are included in the installation media and point release archive. Number 2 Bug Corrections. 81 bug fixes addresses a range of issues from minor package misconfiguration to more significant stability concerns. These fixes improve overall system reliability, especially for less commonly used architectures and packages. Number 3. Updated Packages While no new features are introduced, a handful of critical package updates such as fixes in system libraries, desktop components, and installer scripts. Ensure that fresh installation reflect the current, most secure state of Debian 12 bookworm. Debian 12.11 does not add any new software or major enhancements. Instead, it streamlines the upgrade process for users who install from official images, reducing the time and bandwidth needed to bring a newly installed system up to date. Now, the significance of a point release. Point releases in Debian serve a specific purpose. They aggregate previously released security patches and important bug fixes into fresh installation media without waiting for a full new version. By doing so, minimized update overhead. Users performing a new installation on May 17, 2025 or later can install Debian 12.11 directly and already have most security patches and critical fixes applied rather than downloading hundreds of package updates immediately after installation. Consistent Stability Enterprises and critical environments benefit from the knowledge that fresh installation reflect the latest stable and secure state of bookworm reducing variance in deployed systems. 
simplified support. Avian security team can point to the point release when advising on minimum versions required to address specific issues, ensuring everyone is on the same baseline. It's important to emphasize that point release do not change the version number seen by end users. Once 12.11 media is installed and the system is fully updated, it still identifies as Debian 12 bookworm, albeit with all patches up to May 17, 2025 applied. So now, how to upgrade or install Debian 12.11? There are two primary scenarios for benefiting from Debian 12.11. First, the press installation. Download updated media. ISO and netboot images for Debian 12.11 are available from official mirrors. Installing directly from these images ensures that the system includes all fixes released through May 17, 2025. Install steps Number 1. Obtain the appropriate ISO, for example, DVD or net install from a mirror. Number 2. Create a bootable media, whether it's a USB or DVD. Number 3. Boot the target machine and follow the installer prompts. Number 4. During installation, choose mirror and package selection as usual. The installer will fetch package versions already updated for 12.11. Now the second method, upgrading an existing system. Regular APT upgrade. For users who already track security.tabian.org, most patches are already in place. Simply running APT update and an APT upgrade will bring packages to 12.11 equivalent versions if not already applied. Point release awareness. No special do-release-upgrade action is required. The standard APT workflow surfaces. As the point release concept is more about installation media than upgrading mechanics. Because Debian's package repository are distributed across multiple mirrors worldwide. Upgrades are typically fast and reliable. Administrators in corporate or academic settings often mirror Debian locally to expedite mass upgrades. Now, key improvements and fixes. While the bulk of Debian 12.9 consists of bug and security fixes, several noteworthy adjustments stand out. Number 1. Installer and Bootloader Fixes Corrections to the Debian installer addresses issue in Lucas encryption setup and group configuration to prevent boot failures on certain hardware combinations. Number 2. Kernel and Hardware Support Updated kernel packages include patches to address specific hardware regression discovered since the 12.10 release, ensuring broader compatibility with newer devices and network interfaces. Number 3. Desktop Environment Fix GNOME, KDE, HFCE, and other desktop flavors see minor stability improvements such as corrected menu icons, fixed window manager crashes, and resolution for input method bugs, enhancing the out-of-the-box experience. Number 4. Library and Core Utility Updates Core libraries like OpenSSL, glibc, and systemd received critical patches. These updates close vulnerabilities that could lead to privileged explanations for denial of service scenarios. Now final one which is fifth one, package specific fixes. Commonly used packages such as curbs, OpenSSL, sudo, and nginx were updated to address CVEs and functional regressions, solidifying Debian 12's reputation for reliability. Collectively, these corrections underscore Debian's commitment to maintaining a rock-solid stable distribution, especially for mission-critical deployments. So who should consider Debian 12.11? Debian 12.11 is recommended for the following audiences. Number 1. New users and installations Anyone installing Debian for the first time or deploying new servers will benefit from minimal post-install updates, 
saving time and bandwidth. Number 2. LTS focused deployments. Organizations relying on long term stability and security, for example, educational institutions, research labs, or enterprises, can confidently roll out the updated media knowing its encapsulates recent fixes. Number 3. Users tracking security updates. Those already subscribed to Debian's security feeds will encounter fewer fresh updates after installation, as most patches are pre-applied. However, containing standard APT updates remains essential. Number 4. Hardware Compatibility Cases Systems that struggled with specific hardware in older 12.x point releases, particularly certain Wi-Fi chipsets or storage controllers, should see improved support out of the box in 12.11. Long-term support, which is LTS for Debian 12, will continue through June 30, 2028, giving users confidence that fixes like those in 12.11 will be backported and supported for at least the next three years. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.